Assalamu alaikum to all my brothers and sisters in faith. The IJM was established in December 1985 to empower the underprivileged members of the Shia community to become progressive, prosperous and self-reliant citizens. There was no concept of education in the community for a long time. The IJM started to help students by paying their fees in their respective schools. With the passage of time and in order to meet the ever increasing demand for education from the community the IJM decided to establish its own schools in four different slum areas of the city this was a very challenging task at this point the sajadia trust canada helped the IJM to construct four schools equipped with all the requirements such as well ventilated spacious classrooms laboratories libraries playgrounds and qualified faculty realizing the spoon feeding charity was not the solution to eradicating poverty the ijm expanded its activities by starting different projects such as self employment scheme medical aid house construction monthly malim dad and the faza namaz roza special mention must be made of the imam e zamana english medium school institute district andhra pradesh the village was inhabited almost entirely by the poorest of persians exploited in beedi making the village now has a full fledged school and dini madrasa to cater to the educational needs of the population from nursery to class 10 the project was fun- funded by mulla asghar ali mm jafar the then president of the world federation of the ksimc for the development of the avalkonda village under the direct supervision of the imam e zamana mission the entire expenditure incurred by school children from nursery to class 10 including the fee uniform books stationery shoes etc is borne by the imam e zamana mission the students are encouraged to pursue further studies for which they are offered scholarships on merit based on the following criteria financial evaluation of the family resources and income monthly income of the family number of earning members number of dependents the five schools run under the aegis of the imam e zamana mission are the izm sajadia canada boys high school yakutpura with a strength of 812 students the izm sajadia canada girls high school yakutpura with a strength of 594 students the izm mola ali high school with a strength of 350 students the izm khaim nagar high school with a strength of 290 students all the above four schools are situated in hyderabad the izm english medium high school avalkonda village chittur district andhra pradesh has a strength of 358 students The cumulative strength in all the five schools is around 2404 students. In service for the empowerment of the Shia community, the Imam e Zamana mission has rendered 32 years of human service. Alhamdulillah, it is most heartening to note that over the years the Imam e Zamana mission has observed an awakening in the community for education to eradicate poverty. which is very encouraging thank you extracurricular activities are an integral part of education at all the imam e zamana schools the independence day and the republic days are celebrated with great zeal and enthusiasm other activities include the zamana carnival yoga classes and planting of trees under the harita haram program conducted by the government of telangana exterior resource persons are invited to offer sessions on career counseling and giving an insight into the potential range of courses available for students to su- suit the job market the imam e zamana mission established an open school to accommodate dropout students maths english urdu and environmental studies are taught here Once the students achieve the required standard 
they are transferred to regular schools. Higher education. Higher education is divided into four groups, junior, graduation, vocational, and professional. To sponsor students for higher education, first preference is given to the students of the imam -e zamana mission schools. The imam -e zamana mission also sponsors meritorious students from other schools hailing from the weaker sections of the society. Professional education. The world is complex, interconnected, and more reliant on knowledge than ever before. The world has seen a dramatic increase in educational requirements through revolutionary technologies that have transformed information and life. Therefore, the need for people who can make sense of change is increasing and will continue increasing. Keeping in view the rapid changes and trends, the imam -e zamana mission has always been sensitive to creating awareness for professional education among the members of the community. Mali Imdad, or material help, is given to orphans, widows, the physically challenged, and the destitute who are unable to work. Parcels containing ration to feed a family of five for 20 days is given to them each month. Here you see Sayyid Karrar Hussein Musvi, a truck driver who lost his leg in an accident. He was the only earning member of his family. The IZM gave him Mali Imdad and also set up a public telephone booth to help him supplement his earnings. In the second picture, you see Shanawaz Ahmed, an electrician who lost his leg in the line of work. He now does odd jobs like rep repairing electric appliances and has no regular source of work. He cannot take up any contract work. Sayyada Maryam and Nargis Fatima are genetically deformed orphans. Their mother passed away due to renal failure and they are living with their elder brother who is married. He has no source of income. Both the girls are good students. Nargis Fatima is doing a course in accountancy and Maryam is pursuing graduation in commerce. The holy month of Ramazan is one of caring and sharing. The Imam -e Zamana mission prepares for this month well in advance, appealing to the donors for help. It distributes parcels of rations and new clothes to the beneficiaries and organizes common iftar food kitchens for the rosadars every year. Construction of houses and repairs to homes. The Imam -e Zamana mission has been helping the homeless living in slums and huts by constructing houses and repairing dilapidated homes. So far, it has constructed 219 houses comprising of two bedrooms, hall, kitchen, toilet, and bathroom for the beneficiaries. This was the hut where Sayyada Sarwar Begum, wife of Sayyad Mohibbe Hussain, used to live with her family. The dwelling offered little or no safety from the vagaries of nature, man, or beast. The Imam -e Zamana mission constructed a house safe in all aspects for the family to live in. This was the precarious hut where Sayyid Kazim Hussain Razvi lived with his family in the back of the beyond Khayam Nagar in the year 2000. The Imam -e Zamana mission came to his rescue and constructed a house safe to live in for him and his, and his family. Khaza Namaz and Khaza Roza. The Imam -e Zamana mission liaises with volunteers to perform the Khaza Namaz, Khaza Roza and Quran recitals for donors desirous of obtaining maqfirat for their marhumin. The volunteers are paid a nominal amount for this effort, which in turn helps them to supplement their income. Alhamdulillah, the Imam -e Zamana mission is holding an ijaza from the Marjay Taqlid to collect the Sehm -e Imam and the Sehm -e Sadat. Now, in existence for over three decades, the IZM continues to strive to expand its programs for the community. On its own, the IZM would not have been able to achieve its goals, but with the support and assistance from like-minded individuals and business organizations like you. We request you to make a commitment to support us 
by contributing generously just a small donation of 10 to 20 dollars a month you will make a tremendous difference in the lives of the deserving forever no donation is too small the smallest act of kindness is worth more than the grandest intention and you are the one blessed with the ability to improve the quality of life of many in our community you in turn will be blessed by the almighty allah subhanahu wa taala now and in the hereafter the ijadam is and will remain an important milestone in the lives of both the donors and the beneficiaries